Good. So to the left. And I want him to go to the left consistently without stopping, without changing direction. If he did try going back to the right, I'd cut him off and send him back to the left. Okay, so that's pretty good. So now we're going to change directions to the outside. Outside turn, stay away from kicking distance. Don't get within kicking distance of the horse because if they say, I don't want to, they may kick out. There are some trainers who do not believe in doing outside turns with your horse. I do, especially if he was an aggressive horse. I wouldn't want him to come into me. Good boy. And go to the left. Now, when I ask for the outside turn, I'm stepping into his nose. What you're also teaching the horse is, you know, don't run over the top of me. Good boy. You know, don't, don't spook into me. You're teaching them all those types of things. It's a very submissive maneuver for the horse to turn away from you. You're teaching the horse how to leave when you want him to leave. Outside here. Keep going with him. Press him into that nose. There we go. So it's also a very, you know, submissive maneuver when I ask him to turn away from me. You know, if he was an aggressive horse, I would never want to do an inside turn with an aggressive horse. All I'd be doing is setting him up to come and get me. And we'll start on inside turns now. Inside turn means he's, he turns into me. Instead of away from me, he's going to start turning into me. We want to get his feet moving. Then I'm going to start stepping back. I'll give him the chance. He does it. Then I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to start putting pressure from this side because I don't want them to get confused. Good boy. And have them complete the turn. Good boy. Good boy. And inside here, I'm going to start stepping back. Good. And he says, I'm Good boy. Good. And what he's going to start doing is he's going to start facing up. And start squaring himself up with you because it's too hard to sit there and look at me like this. Good. That's a good boy. I'm not going to pet him on the head yet because I know if I do, he is head shy and he'll throw his head up. So instead of doing that, I'll just go ahead and rub him on the shoulder. And that's the response I want. You know, just kiss to him and have him face you. Good boy. Yeah, we'll pet you right here. Good. Perfect. That was perfect that time. And this is how we start teaching horses how to be caught. Good boy. Good. That was perfect. Good. And then you'd repeat the same exercise. After you got really consistent at that, you'd repeat the same exercise on the other side. Do something. Good boy. Good for you. And like Ike just did there, after your horses learn how to face you, they're going to start taking steps towards you.